In this far corner of the European Union, they have no drinking water and, with 90% unemployment, almost no hope. The Roma have been living in poverty here for a thousand years. The European Union and the Slovak government spend more than 200 million euros every year on looking after the Roma, but somehow most of it just seems to blow away on the wind. Communities like this drain resources. That can cause a lot of resentment. Somehow, over the course of time, nothing really seems to change. What's now being put forward by the government in Bratislava is either the most ambitious or the most controversial plan ever proposed by European governments to try to tackle the Roma problem once and for all. Perhaps with an eye on opinion ahead of elections here, the Prime Minister announced a scheme to, as he put it, divide children from this environment by taking them from their parents and making them go to government-run boarding schools. And yes, he knew how controversial this would sound. It will need a lot of courage and we will be attacked by human rights workers, but we only have two alternatives. We leave the Roma as they are and tens of thousands of people will grow up who won't be able to take their place in society, or we will take decisions which will lead to educating children. For unemployed Roma like Yaroslav and his wife, this has suddenly presented a stark choice. Keep their children but with no future, or let them go to be assimilated into Slovak culture. Our children's school is five kilometers away and there's a big problem because they play truant. Maybe if they went to boarding school, it would encourage them not to keep running away. Yet it appears that pragmatism isn't shared by others. Many Roma are very suspicious of any outsiders and it's easy to imagine how some here would respond if social workers arrived with instructions to take their children away. A lot of Roma in the villages don't know what this debate's about. They don't know what boarding school really means. I personally doubt Roma people would let their children go to schools like this. Roma families are very close. That's the way families are raised. And in boarding schools, children grow up without a family or love or their nationality, without their identity. And while it may be that many Slovaks view this as a progressive scheme to help Roma out of their misery, it also appears it would breach human rights law. If it is the idea that Roma from socially disadvantaged backgrounds, from the settlements, mainly in eastern Slovakia, will be the ones, only the ones, um, being sent to those schools, that will be definitely Ill illegal. It isn't clear yet whether it would be compulsory for these people to hand their children over but even a voluntary scheme would be inflammatory. In the end, though, the one thing everyone agrees is that something has to be done. This could carry on for a thousand more years. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, in eastern Slovakia.